What's up, everybody? Trash or treasure? Simple wrap coin tubes. Are they worth it? Let's find out. Welcome back, everyone. It's Quarterbash. I'm Dave. Today, we're going to take a look at coin tubes. These are Budgetizer Simple Wrap Coin Tubes. Now, last time on, what is this thing called again? Oh yeah, Trash or Treasure. We looked at coin sorting trays. And I think, I think I had a split decision on this one. I thought maybe they'd be good for kids, but you know, I just realized I got to separate out Mikey's coins real fast to use for the coin tubes. And what better way to do that than using the coin sorting trays. So, okay, maybe it's gonna be slightly better than trash after all. Let's see how it does. Still don't love it. I kind of feel like I need to upgrade my opinion on these trays. I like them even less now. All right. The trays, quite honestly, are, are trash. But let's see if it did enough of a job. Yeah, it's not even keeping the dimes, I'm not even letting the dimes go through. Okay. So you get the point. Now, Coin tubes, the idea with this is if you don't want to go through and stack these up into, you know, hand count them out into the proper amount to go into coin rolls, you can use these coin tubes. All right. <laughs> so take a look there's a little slot right there and the idea would be you throw the coins in there and the bottom is is a uh, hollow so you can stick your finger in there and to make sure it's all it's all sitting proper because they turn sideways and don't stack well I'll take the quarter one as many quarters in there as I can okay so now it's up past the slot so if I go like this, now that nothing's coming out, that should be 40 quarters. Let's see how well it did. All right, 40 quarters, it worked. All right, so my concern with this would, of course, be if there was some kind of schmutz on a quarter or a bent edge or something, it, that it would stack a little bit higher and throw the top quarter out and you'd only have 39. Um, but then, again, I don't know how exact everybody else is. I personally would be horrified if I rolled a uh, roll of quarters and it was one short. I would feel like a thief. Um, Okay, but here's the other thing about this. So assuming you trust it, then 
you can take your roll, especially if you have a pre-rolled one, and you can just, well, you're supposed to be able to. This one's a little old. You're supposed to be able to just slide it right down over the quarters in the roll. All right, obviously I don't have any like solid pre-rolled quarter tubes, so it's not gonna work for me. I'm just gonna take these, put them in the old fashioned way, but we'll try it with the, uh, with the other denominations where I do have some pre-rolled rolls. All right, so cool, all right. So that's quarters, fine. Let's see what happens with uh, with nickels. Well, they don't like going down the tube. I can tell you that. Not a not a great sign. I'm sure it doesn't take a genius to figure out that if you really want your uh, your nickels to sort well in one of these tubes, don't put uh, your nickels in the penny tube. We'll get those out in a minute. This is the nickel tube. All right, so. Toss those out. Now it's totally solidly flat with no piece will come out, no nickel will come out. Okay, here's a brand new nickel roll, never been used, not smushed on the end. Let's see how well it works. did work. Of course, I didn't count the nickels to see if it was right. No, it was accurate. So I'm feeling pretty good about the way these things actually, actually count. I think it's probably enough, especially if you're the type of person who, you know, tolerances aren't going to, if it aren't going to freak you out, if every once in a while you're one over or one below, I think it would be one below more often because it makes sense to me that you could get thicker coins with stuff being added to the coin. I guess if you're doing this for older worn coins, you could worry about getting one extra. But what's that going to be? Pennies? I mean, if you gave a whole bunch of rolls back to the bank with 51 pennies in it, I don't think you're going to be too upset. But overall, is that actually better than just doing this? And then just putting those in their roll. Now I've counted them out myself. I know it's the right amount. I didn't have to play a game with a plastic tube. Here's what I think. I think these are pretty much trash. I'm going to be honest with you. It just seems like a way to make more work out of something that's very simple. I don't know if you need a medium step between 
doing it by hand and putting it in a coin machine that you would buy that would do good coin sorting. And I think there's some fairly affordable versions of machines that do that, that'll separate out your coins for you. These, with the amount of like shaking you have to do and doing stuff like getting coins stuck in the wrong denomination, if you're me, there's too much work. They're too much work. This one, at least I understood that it could be fun for kids. I don't know how fun this is going to be for kids. I think maybe actually playing with the money might be more fun for kids. Trash or treasure? Coin tubes? Trash. Here's the thing, though. If you're going to get these for a kid, I might add these on just to make it part of the part of the fun. There's also these little end crimpers. I've got them around here somewhere, but not within reach. That you can crimp the ends so that both ends of your coin tubes, uh, coin rolls, look look a little more pro. You can get that whole package together pretty cheaply, and you know, it can make it maybe part of the of the process, part of the fun. The colors match, I guess. <laughs> So, I'm not saying this doesn't have gift potential. I'm not saying this doesn't have starter coin fun potential. I'm just saying that it is pretty much useless to me. So, from my point of view, it's trash. Honestly, I think these are less fun than these. They don't really make noise. Like, at least these kind of like, a kid plays with this enough, the sound of those coins smashing around as you know going between the different levels is going to annoy the parents it's going to be like a, a loud noise making toy they get at christmas so i could see this being more fun it's a little more like you know panning for gold or something i don't know what these are like so yeah trash it is yeah i'll come back with some more trash or treasures uh before too long branch away from coin items at some point get into some uh, some retail and entertainment stuff. I'll just, I'll trash or treasure anything, honestly. I'll trash or treasure a TV show. I'll trash or treasure a book, song, I don't care. Like, just wanted to get it started, established, and then we can use it for, for whatever. So, uh, get in touch if you have a uh, sticker you wanna trade, you wanna do a sticker trade. My uh, contact information is in the description for this video. And uh, so are links. If you uh, if you feel like you want to get these for the child in your life, or even as a gag gift for a serious coin collector, uh, I've got links to where you can pick that stuff up at uh, at Amazon in there also. All right, thanks everybody. Appreciate it.